Sports betting hits brick and mortar businesses in just two days. You've probably seen ads at this point everywhere as Kentucky counts down the days, but those ads are putting an even greater burden on athletic clubs to remind student athletes that they're still not allowed to place sports bets. Daniel Miskell joins us now in studio after speaking with an athletics official at Transylvania University. Hi, Andrea. Today was the first day of classes at Transy, and I was told there are more than 500 athletes on campus, including the 130 starting for the first time today. And it turns out student athletes make up half of Transy's student body. So the athletic department says their athletes have had a lot of questions about what they're going to be allowed to do when it comes to legalized betting. If it's an NCAA sport, any NCAA sport, even if we do not sponsor that sport, so an example would be football, and you bet on that sport, you're actually breaking an NCAA rule. The rules will still be black and white. The athletics department at Transylvania University is telling all student athletes that even though sports betting is legal in Kentucky, it doesn't change the NCAA rules or the consequences. Ironically enough is they've been going on social media saying, hey, I won this money. You could lose your entire eligibility if you do that. Holly Shealy, who's not only the VP of Transy Athletics, but she also sits on the NCAA management board, says the organization has forbidden sports wagering for decades to prevent fixed games and student athletes from being propositioned. Hey, I'm betting on your game. If you can make sure that you don't score the points, we both win money. Same thing with officiating. You know, if you look back in the history and you, you'll see there's games that officials have fixed the game so that a certain outcome and it, nobody wants to watch games like that. Sheely says it's been concerning in the past week how sports betting outfits have ramped up advertisements in Kentucky. Uh, several of us were talking this morning about it and just how many ads we saw. So I have a feeling they saw them too. Which is why both the compliance department and Sheely are meeting with student athletes this week to give them fair warning. If you go down to the racetrack and bet at Keeneland, you're fine. Probably the biggest question has been about football because we don't have football here at Transy and you know so just making them understanding fantasy football betting on the Super Bowl all those still fit under this rule. Sheely also says the president of the NCAA organization is planning to gather data on sports betting starting this fall. They want to better understand the impacts like how many times D1 athletes are being asked to either throw a game or any other type of proposition. That information is supposed to help the NCAA and its membership schools set better policies around sports betting. I'm Danielle Miskell. Andrea, back to you. Thanks, Danny.